to a flashback Friday of Top of the Tower. How have you been doing? Hopefully well. Hopefully your holidays went well and you are safe and doing well in the business. So a bunch of wells there. How about that? Well, here we are rolling right through January and things are moving. And I had an opportunity to get out in the field and do a few things. Good time. And I just want to say thank you for all the likes and comments and things. It was, uh, it was, it's refreshing and I want to get together with you and I want to hear more about what your business is doing. And, um, but uh, I appreciate all the, all the reaching out, all the phone calls, uh, instant messages and text and all the comments on LinkedIn. It's just great to be a part of the telecommunications world as we continue to build the infrastructure of 5G networks. But uh, let's jump right in. You know, the first topic uh, that comes to mind is something that, uh, you know, plays a big part in uh, what we all do. It's competition. You know, that's a big question. Do you enjoy competing? I mean, you know, you look at some of them and you say, their team has this, their team has that. How about geography? You think that plays a big part? I mean, I am a tower developer and, um, you know, there's some things I won't do. I'm not going to Maine and build a tower. Josh Borders can have that. So, you know, those are just some things you have to consider. I'm a Southern guy, so I'll be looking to put Southern Steel up. So that's more of my game. And that's more of what our core business is and where I need to be putting steel up. But you know, uh, we all operate on the same parameters, don't we? It's kind of a, Somebody calls turf pricing or said agreement, you know. This engineer does this for this price, but it's the same price over here for that engineer also. So, you know, where do you get separation? Well, you know, there's a little wiggle room maybe on some things that are a little out there or on the perimeter or, you know, I'd rather have this guy do this because he does a really good job at this and that's the information I'm looking for. Do you congratulate your competitor? You know, when your competitor does well, do you say, good job? You know, we think back to the old days when I first started in this business. You know, when I start to think about my competitor and how I was taught or what they wanted us to do, they didn't want us to do anything. They didn't want us to talk to them. No conversation. Look the other way. Keep your head down and do what you're supposed to do. It's kind of changed now. You know, everybody's kind of knows their competitor. Kind of like Friday Night Lights. Right here in Murfreesboro, we have Friday Night Lights on Stork Vision. And thank you for those that reached out. Master Teague, uh, who was in the national championship and picked up a couple of touchdowns. He's from right here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And he's been on Stork Vision a couple of times. But anyway, that Friday nights, you know, Kevin Creasy right now, where we live, and play 6A football, he's a big deal. He's successful. He's got two studs that'll be coming back, Isaiah Horton and Jordan James, and everybody be trying to knock him off. You know, that's just competition. But after that Friday night, coaches shake hands, kids shake hands, good game. You stuck me on that one. Hey, that didn't go on in the past. It's going on right now. You know, I love to compete because, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just part of, uh, you know, I like chatting with the competition about their successes and everything. In fact, one of my competitors called me today. He called me today, Tyson Munson, Vertical Bridge. I like competing against Tyson, and hopefully I get that chance. He's a good tower builder. They got some things going on over there, but the deal is... It gets down to delivery and personality, okay? Delivery and personality. So there's some things Tyson will be able to control in his delivery and some things I'll be able to control in my delivery when I get my opportunity. Now the personalities, Tyson's more of a Florida type guy, I'm more of a Southern type guy. Nothing against either one, it'll be what the customer wants. You know, you do business with those that you like. You do business with those that you can lean on, those that you can depend on. Very important to know how the competition works and what their strengths and weaknesses are, what their goals and objectives are. Maybe their goals and objectives aren't the same as yours. 
You know? So think about that. But I enjoy my competition, and I welcome competition. Tyson and I have competed against each other in the past. We had a good time. I'm looking forward to the challenge. I want to get in the arena with him. I want to get my mouth busted. How about that? Let's move on. Uh, we don't have any special guest, but I will tell you something that's coming and it's called Next Level. That's that back office deal. You know, how you bill, how you pay employees, how you bill for time and stuff like that. Michael Davis and big old tall Marvin. Y'all know Marvin Webster, Marvin Webster and those guys? Well, they've contacted me. And Michael and Marvin, kind of that M&M series, they're going to be offering a little eye candy of software here real soon. And they, they've called me. They want me to get involved. And I'm looking forward to that. You know, I'm going to be doing some things with them. And, um, you know, uh, uh, this next level, we don't know where it's going. We're supposed to, we're going to try to work on some commercials. Uh, going to try to do a couple of things. We'll see where that is going. Uh, but anyway, more to come on the next level software. We'll be starting a series with that. I'll be working with Michael Davis out of SMW and big old tall Marvin, Marvin Webster. Everybody knows Marvin. So we'll be talking with them, and I'm looking forward to that. Something else that uh, is coming out right now, and it's a lot of great cards. You know, if you're competing in the business, my question is, are you good enough to grade yourself? I mean, do you feel humble about getting a sheet of paper and say, we did good here, we didn't do so well there? I just got my LinkedIn numbers and kind of grade cards. And, you know, so kind of here's was my numbers. I did about, I posted about 100 times throughout 2020. Um, we had about 2,000 likes or comments. And uh, we gained a new, uh, a, new, a new friend. We gained 400 new friends. So that's a little over one a day. I like those numbers, but I want to double that, okay? I'm looking at these numbers. I want to double it. That's just where I want to get to, you know. And, and that's, I, I think that's considerable by the way we're rolling right now. I think that's a good goal, you know. So, but do you grade yourself? And then the next question is, if you're going to grade yourself, how tough are you on you? How tough are you on you? You know, I'm pretty critical, you know, you know. If we go out and we go on a sales meeting, if you've ever been on one with me, what's the first thing I say when we get out of that meeting? How did I do and what could I do better? I want to know from my teammates, should you have mentioned that or should I have mentioned that? Huh? We want to get into that. We want to grade ourselves because we want to get better. And then, you know, you got to be a little bit fair because the customer has to be willing to buy. They have to be willing to do business with you. If not, then it's not very good of a sale. You're just basically talking. You know what I mean? I mean, there's not anything going on here. We're not moving the needle and you're not going to buy from me and I don't think any product's going to come out the door to you. So that kind of goes on. You know, you know, I think that's just it right there. You got to be able to grade yourself and you got to want to get better. You got to want to get better. You know, that's one of the things I'll close with. Uh, you see that big logo up there and a lot of fun going on right now. I got to tell you, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited because uh, Jason and Todd, uh, we've had a great, wonderful business relationship here since we've, uh, since we've gotten up together and they've let me have the reins a little bit here in the South. And, they made a decision that, you know, they're going to leave, let me hang around a little bit, and I appreciate that. But, you know, one of the things Jason and Todd and I got into discussion about is, is you pay for it. You pay for it. You know, you pay for my opinion, or you pay for my knowledge, and you pay for what I do. They may not like what I get ready to say, but then again, they may say, he's right, or something to consider. Not that I'm just throwing a bunch of stuff at them, but what I'm trying to say is we had a discussion the other day about a strict strategy we were thinking about, and I said, well, if we go this direction, you got to think, man, that's, that's going to be out there. And if you go this direction, that's going to be out there. Everybody agreed. And they said, that's a good point. But we've had deep discussions about my strengths and weaknesses and where they want me focusing and what they want me going out and doing and they're focusing on removing that little stuff that could kind of get in my way and keep me from being successful. 
That's cool. I really like that because they want me to have a strategy of selling here in the South, but marketing globally for their company. Does that make sense? Selling and doing things here in the South, but helping marketing in a global aspect. You get it. You get it. Well, and then um, other than that, that's just about it. Some other things are moving. We did, uh, I kind of gave a, let the kid out of the bag. We renewed our agreement with John Jones, John Jones Real Estate. Stork Vision will be back this fall, and we'll, uh, we'll try to go win another state championship ring just like we did this last time. And that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We got to, got to go to Cook Vegas and go get the gold ball. We want to go back and do that again, and hopefully we'll get that chance and bring the Rutherford County team into, uh, into the scene of Tennessee High School Football State Championships. We like doing that. That's a lot of fun. And uh, last but not least, something that some of you have an interest in, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to start doing my apprenticeship. Yep, I'm going to start doing my apprenticeship in the auctioneering. And, you know, I went to auctioneer school and did my 88 hours. I think it's back, I was looking at my records 2000, 2002, and learned everything. And right now, we are really studying that test and getting ready to roll. And, uh, you know, as this COVID deal kind of stops down, we know auctions will come back. And, and um, I'm really excited about doing that. You know, right now, I, you know, I mean, I don't have a real estate license, but that ain't going to mean, that just means you can't sell property. That's all it means. I mean, you can sell a fire out of contents. I mean, you can sell an old lamp. You can sell a dresser drawer. You can sell a car. You can sell anything. Uh, but uh, you just can't turn property to get that real estate license. Because once you say it's sold, that's just no different than you signed on the side of the dotted line, kids. It's the same thing in the auctioneer business. Once the gavel swings, She's over. Well, enough of that. I look forward to hearing from you. I want to hear more about what you're doing. I want to hear more about how I can help you. So please, until the next edition of Top of the Tower, stay safe and reach out there. Instant message me. Hit me on LinkedIn. I'm on all the social medias. You can find me and, and let me know how I'm doing. And we'll get together again and have some fun. See you.